everybody, welcome back to 30 Days Until Done. Um, we're working on revision, and I, I want you to do something here. Try to think of a single word for a vehicle with an internal combustion engine, right? Uh, and you can't do it, because uh, there's no single word for all vehicles with uh, inter uh, internal combustion engines, right? Um, we have cars, we have vans, we have trucks, we have tanks, we have, uh, we've got, why, why do we have all these words? Well, because they're really important to us. Um, and uh, when something becomes really important, you get a lot of ways of describing it because there, there's all sorts of different things. Uh, this is the magic of English. It's also the magic of concrete nouns. Uh, it's the precision of, of these words. There's, not, there's no sort of vague, overwhelming term for co concrete nouns in, in this way. I mean, there, there are some, some, like for example, a forest, and there will be 15 types of forest. Uh, but the more concrete your language is, the, the, the more precise, the more shades of meaning it will, it will start to have. And that's what we're working on today. Yesterday we worked on verbs, the day before we worked on getting rid of adjectives and adverbs. Today we're working on concrete nouns. Um, so what I want, what I want you to do, I want you to take a look at your poems, and I want you to look at when uh, you, you're having abstraction. The verb was the necessary, the, the necessary first thing was to get rid of the adjectives and adverbs. Now, should you always never have adjectives and adverbs? Of course not. Uh, but you, you, you've got to be very, very careful with them. Um, I had a teacher who said they cost $5, and you have to pay up at the end of your life, so, you know, use them sparingly. Um, it, uh, the, the, the verb almost always gets you out of trouble. That's the, the necessary second step. The necessary third step is starting to work with your concrete nouns because they add meaning in the same way that verbs add meaning, and they add connotation and emotion. So, for example, um, saying a tank is one thing. Saying a panzer tank, something else entirely, right? Or a tiger tank, or, you know, whatever it, whatever it is you're going to say. Or uh, a car, that that's an emotion. But it's not the same emotion as a 1973... Um, POS Gremlin, right? Uh, the, the Gremlin being um, both one of the worst cars ever and one of the favorite cars of, of my life that I had in my life um, because it was just, uh, it, it was so terrible, it was fun. Um, okay, so, um, or, or how about a Lamborghini? I was walking down the street with a cup of tea yesterday and I saw a Lamborghini go by um, and I just had my, like a, a socialist need to throw my tea on this Lamborghini. I didn't do it because I, I'm not, a, I'm not uh, violent. Um, and he was probably a perfectly wonderful person driving that Lamborghini. Um, but there was just like, there's something about it that stirred an emotion in me. Um, uh, jealousy, I think is what you call that emotion. Um, okay. So, um, uh, so look through your poetry. I want you to, to look at that, that same vague poem that you've been working with, the one that, that really didn't, wasn't doing a lot and take a look at your nouns and how you can do this. Now, what's, what's a bad noun? A bad noun is a word like love. Um, the word has no meaning, right? Because uh, actions have meanings, right? If you put the actions of love in there and take out the word love, then the sense of love is going to come through. Or hatred, or, um, you know, embarrassment, or whatever it is. Uh, uh, all of those, those words really have no meanings. It's the actions that have meanings. Okay. And the actions and the concrete nouns. So if, you say, I, I drove across the Sahara Desert, or how about this? I would walk 500 miles and I would walk 500 more, right? <laughs> um, uh, the song that we all uh, love uh, and are sick of at the same time, those squirrel. Um, it was like that dog out of that movie. Squirrel? Um, okay, so anyway, um, uh, when you're done, uh, post down below. Maybe describe what you've done and why. And we'll see you tomorrow on 30 Days Until Done.